Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to episode 20 of Space Engineers. What's that you see on the distance, you may be asking? Well, that's what I call the Planetary Annihilation Cannon. Hmm. Well, <laughs> not much more I could say than that. All I'm saying is it destroys things, absolutely. So you guys asked me in a previous video, what was... Why was the explosion so big? How come your ammunition did that? And then some people were saying, Oh, why don't you just fire stones? Stones, normal stones will be fine. Well, that's fine. You can fire as many normal stones as you want. And I'm just going to demo to you today the difference in ammunition types, what it actually does. So, the first thing we have up is the actual stone. The stone, your favourite ammunition for some reason. So we just need to get... A little bit more stone, I think, out of here. So let's quickly go to the honey badger. As you can, well, not the honey badger. What, what did I call it? I can't even remember. Oh, the bumblebee. That was its name, wasn't it? Uh, right. So yeah, the bumblebee's seen better days. It's been all, doing a lot of mining. As you can see, I've had to build a whole bloody tunnel network. Right. So let's get inside. Let's get this shell locked in place. Uh, when we actually build the other shell, the high explosive one, I'll show you how to build after this. I'll. Um, it might have to require a little bit of longer building process you may have to wait so to actually lock one of these in you want to drift forward ever so slowly and then press free quickly get one of these out and then you want to pee it quick and now you've got hope that you caught it yeah so we caught it so it's only a small stone and I think in my personal opinion that small stone is the size of someone who had like a small ammunition cartridge perhaps what do you guys think is it the size of a small ammunition cartridge so a small sort of rocket that you might fire. So we've got the cannon. The cannon is on a pivot point, so I can pivot, rotate it, aim it, I can do anything I want with it really. I can aim it in each direction. So our target is the ship we build in the other episode. If you want to see that being built, then obviously watch that after this. But so we're just gonna target that and try to see what sort of damage we can do. So we need to get it probably on target first would probably be the best thing to do. So let's screw this a little bit to the right, like so and line it up and I, I'm calling that lined up I'm calling that lined up don't know about you and the first now the next thing we need to do is release the stone from the front cockpit obviously if this was multiplayer we'd have a few extra guys to help us out but just think of the fun you could have with a cannon like this um, so we need to unlock the landing gear and then we need to quickly rush back to the rear cockpit in here and I'll explain the function of the cannon in a moment anyway, but I'm just going to try to get this firing out of the way so you guys can witness it straight away. So we need to power this thing up now. So to power it up, we get on the K menu, we access our gravity generators, we can turn them on one by one. So as soon as basically we get out of this menu, that thing is going to launch and we're going to have to hope for the best on the accuracy front because I've noticed these gravity cannons are not as accurate as I'd like them to be after they get past a certain range. So are you ready to see this? Right, so the rock is away. We need to see the. I want to see the impact. There we go. So we got a small impact on the top. So a stone. Let's see what a normal stone actually did. So let, we'll have to work out how thick this panel in was. So that panel was a two-layer thickness. Well, I think no, it was a one-layer thickness. So it penetrated a one-layer thickness, but it didn't go any further and it didn't damage the engine, and the so the stone basically just disintegrated. So let's just repatch that. So simple. There we go. That's repatched. Actually, to, just, um, to show that we hit that area, we'll just mark it in red like that. So that's where the cannon's aimed at at the moment. So we'll aim another sh we'll aim another shot at the exact same spot. To now, though, we're going to show you how to build explosive ammunition. So to build explosive ammunition, you don't necessarily need a massive stone. You just need to build the capsule correctly. So let's get ourselves some more stone out of the mining vehicle. And here it is. And we just need to get ourselves some stone out of the drill there. Uh, that one drills empty. Uh, we've got a little bit in there. We just need probably about a K's worth of stone to make a good high explosive round. Um, oh, that's a bit too much, really. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. Just drop that. Uh, and we'll take all of your stone, sir. Thank you. Right, so now we need to build this ammunition cartridge. And I think the best way of doing this is either we build it in the chamber or we build it and bring it in on the honey badger but so we'll have to go and get the honey badger first before we begin building so the honey badger lives down here somewhere in the cave uh, there we go 
Don't know. You could, and it definitely needs a new name, the Honey Badger, because it's not yellow anymore. Right, so we bring this out here, and we're just going to hopefully use this to push in the high explosive shell. And what I'm going to do, actually, this this is going to be awesome. I've just realized what I can do. You see the Honey Badger, how it's this shape? What I could do is just copy the Honey Badger and load it in. So um, it needs to be at this angle. Just work out the angle. Uh, about that. Is that good enough? Yeah, we'll call that. And then what we do is we can control C the honey badger. Bring another honey badger over here. And then this is not going to be a honey badger though. This is going to be a cartridge. And we need to hollow this out. So, buy engines, buy propellant. This little compact engine we built in the back here. And there we go. So we could chop this off as well to be honest. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. This is what I mean about space engineering. It's so good. You can take one item and then just turn it into something completely else. So we've got that. Uh, I'm going to attach this honey badger to it. So in case the shell tends to goes a little bit crazy, uh, we've got something behind it powering it. So when I'm when I'm only experimenting with things, I always try to attach something else to them so they don't go blowing off. Right. So there we go. That's attached. We'll attach it to the other end and we actually load it in. So we need to build the high explosive ammunition. So I need to explain how it works really before you guys start building it. So the idea is there's a small stone in here and when it's launched, the stone stays at the back, but when it impacts, the front of the sh this actual wall hits it and then this, the stone come goes, oh shit, where do I go? And then he plows right through it as well. So you've got basically a double penetrative charge like a high explosive anti-tank shell or heat, uh, heat round. So we need to load this thing in first. So let's get our K up. Right, so we're in the last stages now. We're just about to put connect it up with the honey badger. We just got the shell in the chamber. We just make it. We're just moving it into position ever so slowly. We just want to get this in perfectly because if we have any problems at this stage, it's not going to be good. And there we go. The shell is in. We're just going to quickly wipe down a cockpit. Lock this in place. P, T, and now we need to get rid of the honey badger. So. Drive this out of here. So sorry about that. It took me a little bit longer than I expected to cut a side off as well. I was just going to drop it down the feed tray, but then I remembered that I built I hadn't built it that specifically. So this is the test of the high explosive ammunition. On this one, we're looking for a big explosion. We're looking for a very big explosion on this one. So we're looking for high acceleration, big explosion. The important of the high explosive shell, though, is I'm just going to let you know. Is when when before you fire it, you need to make sure your layers are thick enough, or else it will not work. So we've got two layers on there. So I'm just gonna add a third and a fourth, just to make sure that we don't have any early, how to say, blowing ups. Right, we've got that on target. We've got some extra shells on the side. We've got the honey badger there, and we need to begin the firing process. So the target is in sight clearly. Right, so the target is now in sight. The weapon is ready to fire. We need to disengage the landing gears. So that primary landing gear has been disengaged. And now we need to check the gravity generators and turn everything on. So here we are at the back. So this is high explosive test. Gravity generator one, two, three, four, five. We're nearly there. Just gotta get all these on. This is gonna make superb power. Superb, but I'm worried it might do give a bit too much power on the acceleration to be honest Because if it does that then we might it might just rip out in the chamber and it cause an internal explosion, but here we go Fingers crossed guys. Yes high explosive shell is is on its way to the target It's gonna travel a little bit uh, slower, but watch the explosion You see how we got a double the size explosion just because of how it worked and how the shell use the cartridge as a way of damage and you see how the the shit the cartridge has been ripped open by the actual shell and we did a lot more damage that tumbling motion as well definitely needs to be fixed out but for the moment it's quite a deadly weapon it's almost like a depth charge someone said and i think that is pretty damn nice so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video